Welcome to this video. It's Yardbird. <laughs> okay. Yardbird. I have 31 games against him. I'm on a minus four score. So not Check. terrible, but last uh, last couple of games didn't fare so well. Okay, the A5 line is what I what I normally play. Let's see. Knight C3 is an interesting. This is very interesting. Very interesting way to play. Um, A4. I have forgotten the precise move order. I think this is right. A4. Intending A3, which basically forces White to play A3 himself. Check. Yeah. And one funny point of this early A pawn push is that you can get in um, can get in rook a5. It's a funny idea. Rook a5, queen a8. I'm going to do that just because it's cool. <laughs> I don't know if it is so great, but it is a is a funny way to play at least. Or let's say funny is maybe the wrong word. It's it's an original way to play. Something that you don't see every day. It's not so easy, no? Maybe I'm I'm actually threatening to take on f3. Yeah, he he reacted. Uh, it was uh, he reacted to it. Um, do I play bishop e4 now for a trade of bishops? It's not a bad idea. I can also play g5 g4. Yeah, winning a pawn basically. It's not a not bad. Maybe I can do that. Or, or g5 h5. Let's do that. It's interesting. Note that my rook on a5 is covering the g5 pawn. It's uh, quite neat. Yeah, so here I was thinking I can, I can also take, by the way. Okay, this, this was my original idea, so I'm going to do it. And now I can take g2 hmm, for, for interesting play. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I should have just played bishop e4. Bishop e4 was the better move against Yardbird, <laughs> against such a dynamic player? Maybe this is uh, this is uh, interesting, but it is very very murky, which suits his style, pretty sure. So I'm playing a little bit with fire here. Let's see. Let's see what he's coming up with. I mean, I don't really think that White has enough for the pawn, but it is. Um, it is um, something that he probably likes, this type of position. Okay, do I take, I have bishop c6. Uh, come on, let's do that. Asking him if he really wants to take on a5, uh, giving me queen a5. Or is he sacrificing the exchange? Maybe he is, right? Hey, he probably will sacrifice the exchange. Taking or, or going back, okay. <laughs> so okay, I thought knight e4 might be a move, or is this is this stupid? Knight e4, d5. I can actually take g5. Hmm. D5. Hmm. I don't know. Knight e4 looks nice if I get it in. D5. I can also. I can take g5. Pawn takes. Bishop. What a what a mess. Yeah, this is the problem. We, the position gets totally messy, and he's definitely better. Sorry, in this kind of position that I am, in a positional struggle, I don't really mind mind to play him. But uh, when it gets it gets um gets murky he's definitely definitely the better player okay let's see yeah d5 is the move i guess i mean i don't really know <laughs> how to assess the position after d5 but this is what white needs to do i guess otherwise i probably take g5 play bishop e4 for for some very welcome trades Yeah, d5, knight g5, hg5, 
And then I take a couple of times on d5. It's probably not really enough. Oh, he's allowing that. Okay, taking. Not spending tons of time now. I, I'm, I'm happy to get this stuff traded. Kicking him back here with f6 and e5 and stuff. Come on, let's do that. Let's see, not getting too far behind on the clock. Now f5 for if he takes knight c5. That's actually looking nice. Or is this too loose? I don't know. I don't know. I have no time. Don't want to fall too far behind. De5, knight c5 is my idea. can take now mm -hmm. okay let's let's take here first <clears throat> I take on e4 it's very loose okay What I want to do is I want to okay that's okay it's obsolete the idea is not important now anymore okay he does not he cannot enter really on knight c5 knight c5 or knight b3 that's actually nice right <clears throat> knight b3 might be might be nice yeah and I maybe have d5 kicking the I then queen b4. Anyway, anyway, that that's not a bad move to play probably. Knight on b3 is is something irritating. White resigns. Obviously very irritating. Is it really that bad? Hmm. I mean, I like my position, but uh, I wasn't really sure how bad it is. Maybe it is that bad. I mean. <laughs> But he has um, won so many positions against me in out of murky, murky positions. Yeah, it's hard for him to make a move, really. That that's true. Computer is on minus four, but I'm I'm always very alert against him because of his very strong play in dynamic positions. But knight c5 was probably good. Yeah, let's let's have a look here at the at the course of the game. Here, queen e2. Here was here also. I had the possibility to just play it in a very positional way, in a strategic way, just just trading this bishop, which wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I'm trading those bishops, and the c4 pawn in the process is a little bit weakened. But I think this is better. Yeah, the computer also approves of this idea, and basically says that white has no sufficient compensation. Yeah, maybe this is really true. I am um, okay. This is true because of a tactic that I quite typically miss. Knight e4 is a good move. Yeah, very good move actually. Interesting. Yeah, this is a very nice move. The idea is that um, okay, rook takes is very nice. And okay, if he does not take the bishop, I mean, I'm threatening knight g5, bishop e4, and knight c3. It's not so easy to make a move here, actually. The computer wants to play f4, and after that, I'm, I'm still almost winning. This is this is a position here that we almost got in the game, the, the, this kind of structure, just with a couple of extra moves for black. Yeah, I went back. Back, a 94. So I could have gotten this with a couple of more, couple of um, extra extra moves. But this is uh, strategically, it's very nice. I e5 was even stronger to threaten f6. Okay, um, but I wanted to make a couple of quick moves, and I mean this this keeps a big advantage. But the other one was stronger. Yeah. Okay. Rook b5 can is maybe debatable, but 
it, it keeps a, a big advantage. The problem is that this bishop in particular is not doing anything. And whenever he takes, the problem is that it, it gives my knight very crucial squares. So he's, um, he's really in big trouble. And here, yeah, knight c5 was stronger. At first I wanted to play rook c8, which is not bad, but this is stronger. It, it definitely is. The computer, what is the computer's move here? What does it, what does it want to do? Queen e2, okay. Yeah, well, I can check. 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 Yeah, and in this kind of position, I mean, if everything else fails, I'm trading queens. It's not the best move, but Check. this is this is winning for black simply because of this this, this nonsensical bishop. I'm getting knight over here. This is a technical win for black. Yeah, so he probably didn't resign too early. I was still still you're surprised when they give up uh, without really an obvious loss. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.